What's going on everyone? CJ back here with a brand new episode of the Madden 24 St. Louis Sentinels franchise. That is right, welcome back. Three more weeks to go here in the regular season and I believe if we beat the Raiders today, we could clinch the division and thus clinch a playoff berth. So getting a look here at the NFC, we are the number one seed as of now, but we cannot Cannot take our feet off of the gas because we got the Seahawks, the Falcons, and the Panthers right on our heels. Eagles could make the playoffs still, but I do not think they could take the division because we do hold the tiebreaker over them. So I think as long as we could take care of business today, we should be safe and secure in the playoffs. But the Raiders, who we play today, also fighting for a playoff spot as well. So this game has huge, huge playoff implications. And I mean, also... Look at the AFC, man. My God. Thank God we do not play in the AFC. We got the Chiefs and the Chargers. Only two losses on the season. Ravens 11-3. Jaguars 10-4. We would probably be like the three or four seed if we were in the AFC. Luckily, we aren't. But man, oh man, that AFC looks stacked. Raiders have Jimmy Garoppolo at the helm still. Okay, that's uh, that's very funny. Jimmy's not very good and he's kind of old. See what he's doing this season. I mean, not a lot of touchdowns, but a decent touchdown to interception ratio and close to 3,000 yards. So I guess, uh, you know, Jimmy still balling out in his own right, but doesn't look to be too much of a threat. But we know, especially in the game of Madden, it literally is any given Sunday. And fun fact, it's actually Sunday as I record this. So there you go. And who is this? Juan Hardesty drafted in the third round with the 99 speed and the 90 seven acceleration he's also hidden dev too so gotta take a quick look and see i'm sure it's probably star but with a 99 speed um yeah okay there you go so we have a superstar development wide receiver that the raiders picked up that were draft that was drafted in the third round so he could be a weapon today of course Devontae adams always a weapon and they still got Josh Jacobs. He's, of course, on my Green Bay Packers in real life. But he is still here and still causing havoc. 99 rated overall. Michael Mayer developing pretty well as, as well. And then, of course, do they have Max Crosby? That's the question they do. So Max Crosby still here in town. So uh, Raiders definitely got some weapons for us to uh, have to worry about today. So can't rest on our laurels. Got to make sure we go out guns blazing and play a good one here today. I mean, Raiders do put up some points on offense. They are eighth in the league in points per game, and they are a very good rushing team. No, no surprise when you play uh, the likes of Josh Jacobs. And I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice. You guys know how I feel about defending the run on the weekly strategy, but we're going to start out at least defend the inside run if josh jacobs starts doing crazy stuff cutting it outside stuff like that we'll probably adjust to halftime and i think it does make the most sense again at least initially we're playing a good defense eighth in the league in sacks they got the likes of max crosby and others so i think it makes sense to do blitz counter and today with sam howe still at the helm yes jj ford is still out another two weeks with that abdominal tear it only makes sense well if I could see my weekly game plan, are we going to load Madden? What's going on here? Lost connection to the servers three times, by the way. Finally got reconnected now. So shout out to EA and Madden always putting in the hard work. As I was saying, with Sam Howe still at the helm, two plus passing touchdowns has to be the move. And let's just allow less than 24 points. And let's not go big. I mean, Sam Howe's played okay in terms of passing yards but he does have a lot of mistakes let's just try to get 350 offensive yards go out there and take care of business 10 and 4 sentinels at 8 and 6 raiders and again like i mentioned this game's got some huge playoff implications win and we clinch win and the raiders are still in i believe they're the seventh seed right now so both teams got a lot to play for and if you guys are fired up for some more st louis sentinels content please like the video and subscribe to the channel for weekly madden 24 content remember at 1000 subscribers i will do an nfl jersey giveaway so please help me get there and without further ado let's get on down to allegiant stadium and get ready for the game oh wow josh mcdaniels is still here so we got josh mcdaniels and jimmy garoppolo this raiders team is like uh, about a season and a half old in real life much much different and it looks like we are going to be punting the ball 
back to uh, Jimmy G first. So we'll see. We'll see what he has to offer. I mean, what can you say about Jimmy Garoppolo? He's he's a quarterback in the NFL. You know, he's he's definitely a quarterback in the NFL. Will he be a factor in this game? I mean, we showed the stats pregame. Take a look at him one more time here. But he is having a I mean semi decent season, and he's got his Raiders fighting and clawing to stay alive in the playoffs. Nearly 3,000 yards. He will get that today with ease. And, I mean, a pretty good touchdown-interception ratio as well. But the real threat is big number eight back there, Josh Jacobs. Cannot wait to see him in a Green Bay Packers uniform in real life. That is going to be exciting. It is going to be Jacobs, but not on the ground. It's going to be a little check down. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, no stranger to check downs that much. We do know, and that one was only good for a gain of one. So seeing Josh Jacobs come out of the backfield, much better to me than seeing him gash us up front. That could be a pick from your NFL leader this season in interceptions. That is one Emmanuel Forbes. He just keeps doing it week in and week out. He started off slow this season, but boy, howdy, freaking Batman has he picked it up. And that was just a brain-dead throw by Garoppolo. Forbes read it the whole entire way. He was looking for his number one target there, Devontae Adams. And the target did not find the mark. That much was for sure. So another big question mark here, Sam Howell. I mean, he's played a game and a half now. And uh, the game he came in for relief work, he lost. And the game that he started, he won. So let's see if he can keep uh, the starting streak alive. I mean... He's played he's played good, right, in terms of yards. It's just we haven't really seen the accuracy there too much. And, you know, the turnovers, uh, Dwight Jackson picks up five, second and five. Now we're almost into the red zone after that turnover. Let's give it to Cole Turner. He's only able to pick up three. That's our third string tight end playing now because, of course, Logan Thomas is hurt. That will bring up third and two. And uh, kind of like the RPO. Action to George Williams. We'll see maybe if that uh, corner starts to cheat back a little bit. This could be a quick shot to Williams, which I think it is. Hold a block for me, Terry. There we go, Terry. And the big man going to actually stumble in. Wow. George Williams putting on the Jets. Our big six foot nine receiver. Biggest wide receiver in NFL history. And a turnover from Jimmy Garoppolo. A quick strike from us. I mean, of course, Sam Howell will get credit for the touchdown, but that was really all George Williams and Terry McLaurin doing the blocking. But you don't hear me arguing going up uh, early on the scoreboard. Team that's trying to fight and keep that number one seed, I will certainly, certainly take that. Well, let's see how Jimmy handles the uh, blitz and press action here. He did not do a good job on that last throw, so I feel like if we can get him a little flustered back there in the backfield... He may do even worse, and it's not going to matter because Jamin Davis and I think that was James Smith-Williams. It was either Smith-Williams or Chase Young, one of the two. And uh, Colton Miller, the lineman, goes down. But this could be a long day for one Jimmy G. I certainly hope it is. Let's uh, go man here. And really, if I was Jimmy G, man, it would be a healthy dose of Josh Jacobs. No! It's going to be a catch and a completion there by Juan Carrington, the backup tight end, UDFA, undrafted free agent out of LSU. Getting a look at Josh Jacobs last week, a buck 50 nearly, and a touchdown again, like we talked about pregame. He sh really should be their offense today. And, and the Sentinels, historically, we've had trouble against some premier running backs. That has definitely been a weak spot of ours, I would say, and RPO from Garoppolo trying to mirror what George Williams did on the our last drive, but Devontae Adams was only able to pick up two. Guessing pass here, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm confident it'll be a pass. I say that, it'll probably be a run. Third and six, though, you gotta pass it, right? Definitely, yep, Garoppolo is gonna come out. Passing situation, and he found, again, Juan Carrington, but he was short by a yard. So this should be a punt, which it will be, I mean, really, like, if it were me, you already know what your boy would be doing. But Josh McDaniels, we know about the cojones or lack thereof from that man. It's one of the reasons why he's no longer a head coach. 
And just like that, Sam Howe and the Sentinels are going to get the ball back again and get a look at the playoff picture here, like I said. So in the hunt, the Cowboys, I cannot believe this is like the first time I've ever seen the Cowboys not in the playoffs, I would say. Uh, and they're in the hunt, though, but, you know, still three weeks to go. Anything could happen. Don't know if I really like this play call. We might have McLaurin on the curl. How in the heck did Max Crosby get out there and our two-year pro center out of Michigan, Will Devlin? He goes down. Yeah, that was just all-star coverage from Crosby. What can you really say? So uh, work off a play action here. Maybe taking a shot. We got Jahan. He's been playing great lately. And he's there to pick up a huge gainer. I talk about this all the time, but man, oh man, do I love this uh, group of receivers we got. Of course, led by one Terry McLaurin, but Curtis Samuel playing good, his own right. John Dotson, George Williams just scored a touchdown. And then don't forget about our superstar tight end, Bart Burns. Here goes Dudley trying to cut it outside. He finally played great last week, only able to pick up one, but get a look at his stats. Stats. Pretty similar to uh, that of Josh Jacobs. Going to work off screen here from the 42. I want Sam Howell to just kind of see some completions, hopefully get the confidence going. Oh, my God, Dudley, how is he still on his feet? I don't know. I don't think he knows, and I, maybe he should have went down because he just got injured. There was virtually no blocking on that play, and somehow Dudley was able to turn that into a gain of five, but at what cost? Because now he goes to the sidelines, hopefully... He could come back. Dudley has been our spark plug out of the backfield. So that will increase the role of, De of Dwight Jackson. Third and three here. Let's see if McClure. Oh, it's McClure on the seam all day. Howell almost overthrew him. Luckily, uh, he did not. Terry had to adjust slightly, but a big gain of 25 gets us to the 28. Dudley, injury risk high. Let's keep Jackson out there for a little bit. I see the TE attacks, but I'm trying not to call that play uh, as much. I don't I don't limit it like I do the PA cross out of single back X bunch nasty. It's not that broken, but it's still pretty good play. And uh, coach seems to love calling it in these uh, 20, 25 yard situations. So just trying to not necessarily call it as much. Terry open, had to adjust again. And he gets up after the barrel roll and gets into the end zone. Wow. Even that one didn't really feel that clean from Sam Howell, but it doesn't matter because points are points. And uh, Sentinels, they got to work on their dance moves, man, their celebrations. They are piss poor, to say the least. But Terry catches it, barrel rolls, gets back up, and finds pay dirt. Sentinels off to a very hot start in this one. See what the Raiders are working with. We kind of looked at it pregame, but we'll get a closer look here. Of course, Jimmy Garoppolo, we've seen a lot of him and a lot, most of it not very good so far. Josh Jacobs and uh, two-year man Brandon Clayton out of North Dakota State. He was a second-round pick back in 2024. Are the halfbacks. Of course, Devontae Adams is here. We know that. They got Jacoby Myers, Hunter Renfro still in town, and then a couple rookies. Here's that 99 speed guy. Juan Hardesty, they may want to uh, think about throwing him into the fray a little bit. Michael Mayer developing good, but aside from that, couple backup auto-generated tight ends. And Colton Miller here on the offensive line. Cesar Ruiz, Andre James, nothing really too crazy. JC Edwards, he's an auto-generated guy. Looks to be pretty good. And uh, Isaiah Wynn. So, you know, Devontae Adams, yes. Josh Jacobs, yes. Couple other pieces, maybe. Jimmy Garoppolo, Probably not. That's the Raiders offense. Don't know really how they're necessarily in a playoff contention here, but they are. But they're not playing like it. But there's Josh Jacobs out of the backfield. And, oh, man, that almost got dangerous really, really quick. Garoppolo hits him on that wheel route, and that is by far the Raiders' best play of the game. Maybe I shouldn't speak it into existence, but, man, I would be force-feeding Josh Jacobs the ball right now. Not really sure the strategy of uh, Josh McDaniels. And there you go. It's an off-target throw there by Jimmy G. Pressure was there, so can't put the blame solely on his shoulders. And ma again, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't say it, but I'm going to say it. Anyways, the lack of utilization from Josh Jacobs. I mean, okay, he's got that you know great wheel route there a couple plays ago, sure. But, but I would just be force-feeding him the ball, and that was almost a pick by Hoover. 
Raiders going to settle for a long field goal with Daniel Carlson. He is one of the best in the business. Can't say the same about his brother, who plays for my Green Bay Packers. I wouldn't be surprised if he's gone, and it's a doinker off the crossbar, and no good. So the Raiders struggling to find any semblance of really anything so far in this game. Then let's get the ball back. First and 10 from the 46. We're going to work off of Salance here and find Jahan Dotson. Probably Jahan with room to roam. And look at Terry out there setting blocks. Man, oh man, I know what you're going to say. Sam Howell, 7 for 8 for 145 yards and two touchdowns. But really, it hasn't really been Sam. It's, it's mostly been the receivers are really helping him out. I mean, Sam's finding him, so you can't really, uh, you know, you can't discredit him too much for that. But it's really the receivers with some good yards after catch really making things happen. Let's try Jackson on the outside. He might have it. This could be a blowout. 21-0 in the first quarter. And this puppy isn't even over yet. Dwight Jackson going to do the running, man. These fans might be running out of the stands to get back to their cars to beat traffic. Unless something changes and changes very fast. Raiders gotta pick this up. It has gone quiet here in Allegiant Stadium and Garoppolo, I'm not sure I'm understanding the thought process here as he just, it's third and one. He works off play action and it's a deep bomb intercepted by Quan Martin. I mean, I think it's time to, who, who else did they have? I don't even remember who the Raiders had as their backup. Uh, I think Tyler Huntley, I want to say. Maybe it's time you bring in... Whoa. What the fuck is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is Jonathan Allen getting the ball? No, 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 no. That's not going to happen, man. I'm, I'm very confused. Dudley Saxton, Dwight Jackson, and Brian Stevens are the running backs. Nowhere do you see Jonathan Allen. Power back. Dudley Saxton. Okay, maybe we put uh, Stevens there. I, I guess that might have something to do with it. But nowhere do you see Jonathan Allen, uh, Milo Eifler has, has gotten back there sometimes as well, our linebacker. And we don't want to be handed. Jonathan Allen's a great player, okay? Don't get me wrong. I love him. That's my guy. But we do not want to be giving him the ball out of the backfield. George Williams is going to fall forward. How about Sam Howe, 8 for 9, a buck 52, and two touchdowns. Very uh, J.J. Ford-esque, I would say. I mean, just utter domination. It's good to see that, though. It's very good to see that. Anybody who's watched the St. Louis Sentinels series from the beginning, it's we haven't really seen too many blowouts in our favor, right? M matter of fact, we haven't seen too many blowouts really at all. Lots of games have been very close. Curtis Samuel going to get this underneath, cut it upfield like he does best. But it's nice to see some dominance for a change. I got to say, Dwight Jackson going to work off the outside. Nice block there from our fullback, Michael Burton. Dwight goes for a big, big game there. He's now at four for 32, and the Sentinels continue their march of greatness. Now, here on second and seven, I know it seems like, okay, the score is well in our favor. Yes, I agree. Raiders don't look like they could do anything at all, but I've seen some crazy things happen in Madden, as I'm sure you have too. So let's not uh, get too complacent here. Bart Burns on the stick. Going to make this third and two. And I'll tell you what, man, you can hear a freaking penny drop here in Allegiant Stadium. It is quiet. We have deflated this crowd, and they are virtually non-existent. Dwight Jackson, let's see if we can keep that going. We will. Dwight cutting it upfield. Dwight, man, our rookie out of UAB. Star development. He's running like he's Dudley Saxton out there. Almost back in the green zone here. We're going to come out single back, and this will probably be a McLaurin shot. It is. Oh, McLaurin, deadly spin move. These receivers are making Sam Howe look like an MVP, I'll tell you what. But, I mean, look, let's let's give my man a little bit of flowers here, you know. Give him some dandelions at least. He's, he's doing okay. You have to complete a pass in order for your receivers to make plays, right? You got to first complete passes. And Sam is doing that at a pretty high clip. We see now Dudley Saxton back into the game. He's going to get the outside, and it's money. 21-0. Go out there and get those good parking spots while you still can, Raiders fans, because you may be in for a very, very long day. 
if you decide to stick around and stay here at Allegiant Stadium. Tell you what, for being the uh, 32nd ranked defense in terms of total yards, if we can keep up, keep it up going like this, it's definitely going to help our stats. Oh, Tony Knight, I had a shot and missed him. This could be pick two. Oh, I had a shot, free shot with Tony Knight, our middle linebacker, to get that sack on Jimmy G, and I just whiffed it, unfortunately. But my man is slinging like he's prime Brett Favre. Doesn't even care. Not even looking at the coverage. And he could throw four picks in this one. Josh Jacobs, they should have been doing that, I think, way, way earlier. Yeah, how does Josh Jacobs only have three carries? In this game so far and you wonder why you're down 28 nothing and i mean we're just guessing pass bringing out our dime package here like show me something show me something jimmy if you want me to respect your game show me that ain't that ain't what i was that ain't what i meant when i said show me something i hear booze i'm hearing the booze guys I am here in the booze here in Vegas. They are not happy. If you're new and this happens to be your first video watching, this is not how games typically go on this channel. Like, anybody in the comments can vouch for that. We have been playing really good. This is our third season as the St. Louis Sentinels. First season, we did not make the playoffs. Missed them. Second season, we made them and got eliminated in, I want to say, the second. Ooh. Gotta stop talking and focus. What I'm saying is we're having a great season here in year number three, but rarely do we see utter dominance like this. We'll go pistol inside zone here with the, with the tight end pulling. I think we should be able to pick this up. Hopefully. Come on, Dudley. Show me something. Hey, stop trying to do all that stuff, man. That's how you got injured last time. But first down was picked up. So good play by the Saxtonator. 28-0. Hey. Don't got to do anything too crazy here. Just really got to play smart. And if we put up some more points here, guys, I mean, tell me how this game is not over. Like, it would not make any sense. There's McLaurin. And that one is going to be picked. Don't got to do anything too crazy here. Just really got to play smart. Did he keep his feet in bounds? Not 100% sure he did. They're going to give it to him anyways. Take a second look at it. One... Yeah, that's not a pick. Can I challenge that? No, I can't. Should be a booth review. There's no way that's a pick. God damn. Okay. I, I stand corrected. I guess it is a pick. I could have swore he did not get his feet in bounds. And is that going to be the spark that the Raiders need? I sure hope not. Sam Howell's or uh, <laughs> Sam Howell. Garoppolo going to get sacked by John Allen. I think it's time to bring in... To make a quarterback switch, Josh McDaniels. Get some pass here. Will the Raiders finally be able to put some points on the board? I am not sure. Jimmy G has not shown me a shred of anything. He's about to get sacked. Oh, diving attempt there by Renfro. But it's not going to matter. And the Raiders are going to punt it back to us. This might be the worst I've seen. Uh, and I'll show you. It's all Madden. It's a all Madden CPU. I know I show this a lot, but I don't know. I just feel the need to. It's the worst I've seen an all Madden CPU play. Maybe this entire series. I don't know. I cannot recall other than a couple games. I cannot recall too many games that were, uh, you know, pure blowouts like this in favor of us. But we're kind of watching one firsthand now. White Jackson playing good. Really, everybody playing good. I'm going to check the stats next episode of these Sentinels. I'm um, very curious to see where guys like, you know, Dudley Saxton land and McLaurin land there and Samuel too. God, man. Okay. The one thing I will say is that is picked off by Trayvon Claiborne, rookie out of UCF. That was the Raiders second round pick. I I'm, I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. Not concentrating. But that is the one thing I will say. Uh, Sam Howe's had two interceptions in every single game that he has played for J.J. Ford. Time, let's just get this thing to the locker room. We get the ball back after halftime. I, I'm not about to sell this game, I promise you. All right, 28-7. I Maybe with a minute and 12, I could have tried to operate and you know get downfield. But I, I've thrown a couple picks now. I need to kind of recenter. I'm talking too much, not paying attention. 28-7. You figure that should be enough of a cushion, but I'll tell you what, man, the Raiders, by getting that pick six there that they needed with uh, Trayvon Claiborne, 
They gave themselves just a shred of hope in this game. Still definitely well in control. And uh, we are going to go... What do we do? Defend inside run. It worked. We're going to stick with it. And Sentinel's going to get the ball here. Look, let's just get back to what we did in the first in the first half. Not be throwing no dumb interceptions. Nothing like that. Not even going to return that with Dotson because why risk a fumble? Sam Howe's playing good, but he needs to cut down on the turnovers because they are... Uh, on full display here these last couple weeks. All right, let's recenter, lock in, laser focus here, and uh, just put a bow on this one. Okay, well, I don't know. It uh, kind of makes me a little scared. I mean, not really. still think this game is well within the range, well within the grasp of uh, the Sentinels to close it out but a little bit uh, not exactly having that warm, fuzzy feeling. Curtis Samuel can give me that warm, fuzzy feeling, though. Pause. Huh? Dwight Jackson on the screen seems like a good idea to me, so let's just hit him. Oh, the pre oh Dwight! Oh, my God, he should have got brought down in the backfield. Wow, are these receivers bailing out Sam Howell on this one, man. That one should have been turnover on that or a punt, you know, situation. Putting it back to the Raiders, but somehow Dwight Jackson, he is a power back. We know that to be true, and he kept the play going. So a fresh set of downs here. Ball on the 39. Let's see. Oh, we got Bart Burns open. Bart, catch it. Way to keep the feet in bounds and fall out of bounds. That will move this thing to the 40. Let's go single back PA deep. We hit Jahan Dotson on this play earlier. Mayhaps we can hit him on it again. It is second and seven. We are into Raiders territory here. Pass rush. Yep. It's going to be intentional grounding. Max Crosby. I haven't really called his name too much, if at all, in this game. And I would kind of prefer it's not to call it. I saw him free rusher coming off the edge there. And uh, are the Raiders about to get back into this game? I don't think so. I hope not. That would be tragic. But it's third and 17, looking like we're going to uh, probably punt the ball back to him unless George. Hey, you know what? I will take that because if nothing else, he gets us into reasonable field goal range for Joey Sly. Coach actually said go for it. I can't can't co-sign that, man. I cannot co-sign that. Joey should. Ooh, that's going to be off. Well, maybe I should have went for it. Uh, <laughs> look, we got this, right? Right? But we do know the Sentinels' defense has been playing great in this game. Only points the Raiders have, of course, is off of that pick six. Oh, Chase Young, push your hands up. Bounced off his freaking dreadlock. Wasn't able to do it, so that will make, up, make it second and ten. And there is not Josh Jacobs. What is up with the refusal to use Josh Jacobs by the other Josh, Josh McDaniels? I can't understand it, but it's going to be third and two. Now, surely he would go to Josh Jacobs in this situation. I don't know. We're going to send some guys into the backfield, see what happens. It's going to be a play fake, and Garoppolo is sacked by Justin Hayward. Isn't that why? Uh, no, that's not. No, Josh Jacobs, why did he want to leave the Raiders? Well, it was just money, right? It wasn't because of lack of touches. There was somebody who wanted to leave due to lack of I can't think of it now. I'm probably thinking of B. John Robinson in Atlanta not getting touches from Arthur Smith, but whatever. All I'm saying is if I was Josh Jacobs, man, I would maybe look into orchestrate a trade, right, to get out of Vegas because he's not getting the ball literally at all. Fresh set of downs here. Going to operate out of the gun. Little levels concept. George Williams. Go. DK. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, Sam's starting to cool off now. May not have been the best read. I will be the first one to admit that. But Sam is starting to cool off now. He looked like the second coming of J.J. Ford, really, earlier on. And uh, now he's starting to miss some receivers. So let's go draw play to Saxon. Everybody drops back. That's not a good idea. Dudley going to be stopped short. Mere inches from the line to gain. And, I mean, there's I don't see any world where this isn't. Dudley again, right? Let's just go out a single back. ID up the mic here. Dudley should be able to get one hard fought yard. You would think he gets about three. And Bilal Nichols, the defensive lineman, gonna go down to the turf. We're gonna operate out of slants again. 
Let's play did work pretty well for us earlier. Jahan absorbs contact, man. How clutch has he been in these latter stages of the season? He's at three for 74. And here on a third and two, PA cross, I kind of like that. Coach is suggesting it. I'm sure they would be expecting a run in this situation. So maybe we could catch him napping, but we got to put a body on uh, Max Crosby. Can we get it over to Samuel? Samuel hangs on. I've been saying it all game, but I'm going to say it again. These receivers, Sam has over 300 yards, but it is the receivers, man. That was a pretty good ball, but it was a high degree of difficulty. That was all Curtis Samuel on that one. Dudley with fullback Michael Burton, hopefully leading the way for him. Look at the vision. Juke. Dudley having a great game, 11 for 73. He was kind of going through a little bit of a rough patch there. I mean, the yardage was pretty much always there, I would say. But we were giving him the ball just, just a lot, way too much. So, you know, his yards per carry were kind of low. And he was finishing in like the 80s, you know, high 70s, stuff like that. But he's really starting to come alive now. And so is Max Crosby dropping Dudley. For a big loss on that play, taking it all the way back to the 11. Oh, nice. Max has his X Factor activated, too. That's lovely. We're in field goal range here, so that's cool. Maybe uh, we can hit McLaurin. Uh, let's just give it to Dudley out of the backfield. Going to get most of those yards back that he lost on the big TFL for Max Crosby. But that will make it third and six here. So the question is spacing, possibly. I kind of like mesh spot. Mesh spot could be the call here. May have uh, Bart Burns or possibly Dotson on the drag. We'll see who can maybe get open. I think it's Dotson. It is Sam Howell dotting up Dotson for a touchdown. Sam's playing good. We got to resign this man. He's up for a contract. John playing the violin. That might be all she wrote. Could be uh, too much of an insurmountable lead. For the Raiders to come back from and good to see us back in the end zone not gonna say I was worried there but you know I was start I had a couple beads of sweat is all I'm saying I know what happens in Madden we were starting to play kind of bad Raiders were starting to get a little bit of momentum back but we just went ahead and snatched all that back up here will the criminal use of Josh Jacobs continue though that is the question nope gonna be an outside run this time and Josh breaking tackles right on cue but, I mean, look, how does he have four rushes and it's about to be the end of the third quarter? Like, I'm sorry, that makes no sense. I, if I was AI-created, made-up Josh Jacobs, I would be pissed, as I'm sure he is, too. Not sure if he's programmed to be pissed, but he should be. And at any rate, that's only his fourth rush, fourth run uh, of the afternoon. And we are absolutely dominating the Raiders in yards, scores, everything. Just got to hang on for 10 more minutes, and we will, by all accounts, I think, clinch a playoff spot and be headed into the playoffs regardless of what happens the rest of the last two games of the season. But got to finish the job here, and that's a nice catch there by Michael Mayer. Break of tackles, refusing to go down. That could be Garoppolo's best throw of the game. And there's the story. We're the worst team in terms of total defense in the entire NFL, but today we've limited the Raiders to under 150 yards. That is absolutely crazy. Still a lot of work to be done here. Well, I should say just beating Father Time. I guess that's the that's the best, most important thing. Nice catch there by Renfro. He had uh, Cam Curl and Fuller draped all over him, but it did not matter. Problem is, though, I think uh, a lot of these fans probably left by now. I know if I was a fan, I would have left. And John Allen going to get to Garoppolo for the second time today. The sheer power. And now I hear the boos again. I hear them in my headphones. Don't know if you guys can hear them, but let me tell you what. They are there. And just the sheer power of Jonathan Allen. Now his X Factor is on. So he could be uh, causing some more problems for Garoppolo back there. Got to see. And this time, going to be another nice catch there by Renfro. Third and eight coming up now. What will Garoppolo do here on third down? That's the question. We're sending a little bit of heat at him. It's going to actually be an outside run by Jacobs. And what an open field tackle by Fuller. That is not an easy job to bring to bring down Josh Jacobs in the open field like that. Kendall Fuller did a great job. And, of course, 
The Raiders have to go for it now. Nothing else to do. Field goals, I mean, even touchdowns really aren't going to do you much, but field goals certainly aren't. So they have no choice but to go for this. And hopefully we get the ball back here. It's night, night time. So it's probably still night, night time, but we're letting them stay up a little bit late. You know, letting them watch TV. It's a school night, but, you know, we're letting them stay up till 10, 11 o'clock. So it's still night, night time, but we're just going to see them probably here for just a little bit longer. Let's see if Garoppolo will punch this in, or rather Josh Jacobs. He does finally, and Jonathan Allen gets injured. Beautiful. Two sacks in this game, playing great, and he gets injured. So the Raiders score, yes, but, you know, probably too little too late. They would have to have a lot go their way, and we would have to have just an astronomical collapse. All right, they do got us in the third and eight. Clock has stopped. I haven't called this play all game. Seems like the right time to do it. PA cross, single back, X bunch, nasty. We got Max Crosby, though, with his X factor on, so we're going to need a little bit of protection, but Curtis should have it. Game, set, match, and Max Crosby gets injured. Curtis Samuel is balling out in this one, but uh, I had to do it, man. I was not about to let no tomfoolery slash malarkey slash funny business happen. Still five and a half to go, so, you know, I've, I've seen crazier things, and I just I wasn't about to let that happen, so I had to just take matters into my own hands on that one. Come on, Dudley, show me something out of the backfield, brother. Well, you got to have blocking in order to do that. Dudley was, I thought for sure that he was going to go over uh, 100 yards, but he's really kind of been shut down here. We are passing it. May not be the smartest call in the world, but we're in field goal range, and just want to end this game. I don't really want to... Uh, Curtis, can you... Curtis is our savior, man. Those underneath routes. Sam Howell at 360 with the three touchdowns, but also the two interceptions. Curtis almost at 100 yards. And that is going to do it here in uh, Allegiant Stadium. couple runs. We'll seal the deal. And how about 35 to 14? Utter dominance from the beginning. I know we scored four touchdowns in the first half. Only scored one in the second. But, I mean, who cares? It was utter dominance. The scoreboard says it all. We're going to have to burn a timeout, though. So that kind of sucks. 42-14 will end up being your final. Dwight Jackson did punch it in. At the end there, and uh, Raiders had one more final drive to do nothing and have it not even matter, so they didn't even really try. But wow. Okay, so that was a dominating game. Uh, Sam Howell, I mean, look, if nothing else, he solidified himself as our long-term backup. Never going to start over J.J. Ford, but it's nice to know if J.J. goes down, we still got somebody back there. Got to stop throwing interceptions, though. Sam, dang it. <laughs> Garoppolo didn't even eclipse 200 and the two interceptions. And how about just the absolute criminal use of Josh Jacobs? Only six attempts. Josh McDaniels should be behind bars, maybe for other reasons too, but especially for only using him six times. Come on now. Dudley almost got 100 yards and averaged uh, 5.1 yards per carry. Dwight Jackson had a good yards per carry average as well. Curtis played great. Bart Burns, Dotson. I mean, we spread the ball around. Uh, McLaurin, really, I mean, he didn't even have that great of a game by his standards. Allen had two sacks. Justin Hayward had a sack and a half. Jamin Davis had a half a sack. And then Quan Martin and uh, Emmanuel Forbes had interceptions. So very nice work by Sentinel's defense. Lots of upgrades to go around. And when it comes to Dudley, do you even have to ask? We are pumping elusive back until the cows come home. Dudley may be up to a 90 overall by next season. Playing up to, I get it. But still, man, if you remember, we picked him up just sitting in free agency. Like a 70, I want to say maybe a 72 rated overall. Something like that. Normal dev. And I just scooped him up because I was like, man, this cat is fast. Like, he has 93 speed. So I grabbed him. He ends up he ends up forcing Brian Robinson to be traded, you know, to get him out of town. Took his, took his uh, starting role and just really has never looked back ever since. And I know Dudley is also such a fan favorite. I love him as well. Happy to have him doing good, excelling. And even more happy the fact that we beat the Raiders 42 to 14. Improving to 11-4 on the season, and we'll have to check next episode, but I believe 
that should clinch a playoff berth for your St. Louis Sentinels. So that is going to do it for me tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.